Hello YouTube, welcome to the 12th episode of Suggestion Showcase, where today we will be showcasing the first helicopter in Suggestion Showcase. This helicopter is the Augusta A129 International Spike. This suggestion was made by Nico. The suggestion will be down in the description, same with the Italian suggestion group. General Info The history of the A129 International began during the late stages of the Cold War. Once the first versions of the Mangusta entered service inside the Italian armed forces, they were well liked by the users, so later down the line, Augusta had generated a lot of interest for this type of helicopter. Although some nations were interested in the base version of the A129, nothing really came out of it. So Augusta developed a newer version of the A129 Mangusta in line with the export market specifications and needs. This new version of the A129 would go under the designation A129 International, likely named that way to attract customers. The A129 International has been designed to meet wide variety of missions under all weather conditions, day or night. These range from art scout and reconnaissance to high intensity and air to ground and air to air capabilities. One of the many great qualities of this variant according to Augusta's employees was the A129 International would be much more than just your regular light anti-tank helicopter. It would also be the most cost-effective combat rotor aircraft of its class. This was clearly a defining factor as unlike nations such as the US, Italy would target its military vehicles to also nations who might not have big a big budget to spend on their militaries. That said, it also meant regular militaries could buy more units of the aircraft if needed which would able to do the same things of vehicles of the era, such as the AH-64 Apache at a much lower cost. The A129 International would prove this by beginning to integrate many different weapon systems that at the time were the best, if not one of the best in their class. Weapon systems such as the Hellfire and TOW ATGMs came standard with the helicopter. However, what was more interesting was the integration of air-to-air -air missiles, such as the Stinger or Mistral. During the development of the International, the aircraft would undergo several variations on usually the same airframe each version integrating different ornaments. Some other changes also included different types of thermal imaging sites, a 50 cal turret, an enclosed triple 50 cal turret, or what is now a staple of the A129 CBT, the 20mm M197 3 barrel Gatling type rotary cannon. All international variants had access to the LHTEC T800 engine, which was an improvement from the base variant of the Mangusta. It allowed the international to have a higher top speed and overall output to reach its surface ceiling quicker than the base variant. A129 International Spike As said above, the A129 International was configured with multiple different types of ornaments over the years of its development, one of the lesser known ones being integration of Israeli made Spike 80 GMs, which this specific version has access to 8 of them, 4 on each side. According to an ex Augusta employee, it would first be presented inside of an international military expo in Abu Dhabi in the year 1990. Most likely to see if other countries would be interested in acquiring this version and putting it into service in their respective armed forces. The integration of the spike, however, was done previously in Israel, where other ornaments have also likely been integrated during the process. Due to this variant being a prototype and most likely just done to test on how spikes would perform on the Mangusta, it was not adopted in this version by Italy or any other nation. What was instead likely done was used the information gathered to develop further projects and also to add new weapon systems being available to the international. The customer required the integration. Interestingly enough, we'd see the future production of a variant of the A129 Mangusta, such as the A129 Delta, the Israeli made Spike 80 GMs, which depended on the variant it mounted, can prove to be very potent weapons. Sadly, the only picture available I've managed to find only shows it with the ornament installed. We can safely assume it is still retained the general payload options as any A129, which included a variety of unguided rockets, ATGM such as the TOW and Hellfire, and air to air missiles such as the Stinger. In international fashion, it would also be outfitted with the American made LHTEC T800 turboshaft engine, which was a major improvement from the first engines of the A129. In terms of speed, the LTEC T800 engines allowed the 129 to go to a speed of 305 km an hour at 1000 meters and gave the A129 a maximum altitude of 5400 meters. Lastly, for its thermal night imaging, the specific version would use a modified Hughes made sight that would be installed at the front of the helicopter. For countermeasures, it had also likely kept everything from before, such as an IR jammer and also a laser warning receiver. Installation of flares and chaff was most likely available if needed, but by 
singular available photo, it's unclear if it would actually go on a mountain. The specifications are very similar to the normal A129 International. Why it should be in game? More mangustas that could be added as either event vehicles or premiums for Italy. Although, if Gaijin wanted to, they could also add them as text researchable vehicles. They're all different from one another and sporting unique ornaments and camos that aren't usually seen in other helicopters. Also, since Gaijin has already added the A129 International in game, it would be easier to add more because they ideally wouldn't start from scratch. So thank you guys for sticking for this long. I hope you enjoyed the video. The suggestion will be in the description. So will the Italian suggestion server. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.